Yes, it's really been refreshing, inspiring. Uh, absolutely live up to my expectations being involved with, with this crowd. It's, it's great. Um, it's also hard to now be and in good, do a good introduction after ATOR. Um, I'm, I'm not such a, such a buoyant guy. I'm a number guy. I've been a number guy all of my life. Um, but I, I can recognize a good business case. I can see good financials. And the team you're going to see next, to me, have got a very strong business case, very good financials, uh, very well thought through. Um, what is it all about? So we've probably most of us have come across people carrying uh, two phones. Some people uh, like to keep their private identity um, separated from their professional identity. Uh, we, even uh, even um, Alex from Avo just mentioned, you know, people maybe other, having other reasons why they carry more than one phone. And it can be a nuisance, um, but there's a group of people where carrying more phones is part of their job and displacing the phones, losing information can become very dangerous. These are police officers and security agents. Um, for them, uh, it can really be dangerous for, for them personally and for their families. So, the team here, um, Red Tulips, they have, they have addressed this. They have been in the field, they have felt the pain firsthand, so they know what they are talking about. And this is really important because this is a market where the barriers of entry can be, can be high. If you're not experienced in that field, it's hard to get in. They have this. So Rob and Josh, the founders, they have been, uh, they have been knowing each other for over 20 years. I've been impressed the way they work together really well. Now they've even uh, uh, strengthened up the team with new, new uh, talents. And that's why I really think uh, they have a very, very strong case. But enough, enough from me now. Let's, uh, let me introduce uh, Rob Suter from uh, Red Tulips. I feel alone, feel at home, feel like nothing is true. Stefano, thank you for the introduction and your guidance through the program. Appreciate it. As Stefano said, this used to be my job. Um, with apologies to Kari, I used to walk into dark alleys with bags full of cash, and I have literally handed them over to a stranger and walked away with a package that I could not open for a couple hours. That sounds like the movies, but this is a lot more common than you think. Lots of people go out there every day and meet with people that we would probably consider dangerous, and they do it to keep us safe. They're the sheepdogs in our society, willingly facing a threat. They're police officers, security agents. And the consequences for them of mixing these identities are much more than simply financial. But today it's not just about looking over their shoulder as they leave and walk away to see who's following them. There's a digital aspect to all of this. They can't have their digital identities from their personal lives tied to their private lives. I'm sorry, to their professional lives. They have to have separation. The way they do this today, multiple phones, as Stefano said. That's the current solution. They carry them around, they have to charge them, they have to buy them, they have to go out and get them. It's time consuming. There's a risk there. If their data is lost again, that's much more of an impact than simply having to refresh their contact list. So we wanted to help solve this problem that we experienced ourselves. To do so, we've created work phone. One phone, one SIM card unlimited identities, each with their own role, each with their own number. All of them delivered inside one simple app on your cell phone, available all the time, notifications all the time, but each segregated and separate. WorkPhone delivers three key values to our customers. First, security, it's non-negotiable. Again, with the consequences so high, it has to be built into everything we do from the beginning. No data ever sits at rest on the device, period. No data ever transits the network unencrypted, even inside our own network. Security is not something that we can take lightly. But we also have to deliver, and the biggest thing that we can give back to these officers is their time. They have to do more and more cases. We allow them to manage those cases more efficiently, and we also allow them to get the notifications they need in time. But as they're handling more and more cases, they're not getting more and more money. The opposite. 
So we deliver a measurable return on investment over existing spending. To deliver all this, we've assembled an experienced team. I'm Rob, the CEO. I have a background in the US Army. I've been a programmer, and I've also been in other roles in the US government. My co-founder, Josh, our CMO, has a background in global business. He's run a business unit for a printed circuit board machine vision inspection company. And as Stefano mentioned, we met 20 years ago in August 1995 at Carnegie Mellon and have been friends ever since. We've added to that team a strong CTO, Yaniv, a voiceover IP expert who, by the way, has almost a decade of Android bring-up experience, making custom ROMs for manufacturers, exactly what we needed. And we've secured a formal partnership with an advisor, Christopher Allberg, the former CEO of Spotfire and now the CEO of Recorded Future, both major companies that have been successful selling into governments. He brings the specialized knowledge that we need for B2G to our team. That specialized knowledge has helped us gain negotiations with a potential pilot customer. They understand that we understand the pain that they're feeling. That's great. They also have connections to some of these similar services in the region. That's great. But that's not scale. To demonstrate scale, we've begun some serious partnerships with existing distributors, people who have sales channels in the government and space already that we can leverage. Those partnerships take a while to develop, but we're already walking down that road together. It's not just our competition, it's our business model. Our government clients already have budget in place. They've already demonstrated the revenue model for us. They are willing to pay an upfront cost to ease the pain, and they're willing to pay a subscription revenue to keep that solution in place. That is the same model that we will follow. We also know exactly what the pricing points are that they're already paying, so we know how to come in underneath that and deliver real value in every sense of the word. But to deliver that value at scale, we need 400,000 euros, mainly to hire on some identified developers who are already eager to come to work for us, but also to build those sales channels and achieve certification processes. So if you're a B2G investor, or someone who knows B2G investors, or if you have existing relationships with security services, police, even telecommunications, we'd love to talk to you and see how we could grow together. I'm Rob, we're Red Tulip Systems. <laughs>